What a beautiful story to end the one hour presentation. Thank you so much, Coach Chester Elton. <laughs> Thank you, Hal. Salamat. Oh, for our participants, uh, I'd like you to type in your question at the QA box. How many more minutes do you have, sir? Um, according, we've got, uh, listen, it, it is really early in the morning here. I will stay as long yeah. as you want me. Have you ever, have you had your breakfast already, Sir, sir Chester? I have not. In fact, when this is done, I'm going to go back to bed and take a nap. <laughs> oh, okay. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for us. As our participants start to type in, May, I'd like to just mention some, some announcement. Is it okay, Sir Chester? Excellent. Good to see hey, your so, face, so, Hal. Thank you, sir. I've been watching your face, and I've, I've been feeling your positive energy, your kindness. I mean, yes, there is distance, but thank God for technology. I felt you. That's, I saw you. Thank you. There's truth and authenticity in you that I and our participants really appreciate. Wonderful. Speaking of... Well, Thank you so much for all these kind little, I can now see the chat box for all your gratitude and your thanking. Yes. You know, uh, you can follow me on LinkedIn. I know you're broadcasting on LinkedIn. We have a wonderful LinkedIn show every Thursday and Friday mm -hmm. or every Tuesday and Thursday. We bring in wonderful gifts. We post all kinds of articles and, and it's all free. So please take wow. advantage. Thank you, sir, for that announcement. And for our participants, this is our way of helping during COVID-19 support our frontliners, as you have been learning from April. Now it's already June. It will go on till July so, for free. You may want to donate an amount to help families in distress. That's so wonderful. You know, my my, my daughter-in-law is actually a nurse at a hospital here in New Jersey. Wow. And We're I, praying, I, praying I, for people like her. Yes. You know, every day they go into places where <laughs> it's dangerous. And they do their job. She's actually yes. a, uh, she helps bring new babies into the world. And labor wow. Wonderful. So just like Sir Chester's daughter, we can make a difference. So our participants, you may want to click and donate or evo.com.ph slash donation. So let's help our fellow Filipinos. This is a collaboration between Ariba Achievers and Bayanian 2020 and Bayanian Mahai Yes, a trivia, Sir Chester. Bayanihan means the coming together of heroes. Yes, everybody is a hero. It's a, everybody's a hero. Your daughter is a hero. Every nurse, every janitor, every maintenance crew, every human being can be a hero just by being kind and grateful. So just you know, that's, that I think is such a wonderful message. You know, uh, my father and the way he lived his life had a huge impact on me. And, you know, the thing I loved about my dad is that he treated everyone with respect, you know, whether they were parking his car, bagging his groceries or captains of industry. Uh, he was so kind. And, you know, I think, you know, how as, as we go through this, I, I hope one of the things we learn is that we learn to be a little more grateful, that we learn to be a little more kind and patient and patient with each other. You know, let's assume positive intent. There's a lot going on. Let's just be a little more kind, a little more grateful, and a little more patient. Let's do that. Let's do that, everyone. And uh, you know what, Sir Chester, you you make me want. Well, well, with what you just said, I remember my parents raising me well. We, we were not. I'm not from a rich family. My parents were high school graduate. They fell in love, and then they got married at 17. And my mom was 17. And my father was wow. five years older, and um, well, I mean, they grew up. They they raised us. I mean, through elbow grease, and yet the, the values they taught us is to respect everyone. And uh, now I'm forty seven, going to forty eight. I respect that. That's one thing nobody can take away from me. Respect every human being. And thank you, Sir Chester, for that. Sir Chester, can I just greet our participants from different parts of the Philippines? Absolutely. They are from Baguio, Batangas, Bulacan, Cabanatuan, Cebu, Davao, General Santo City, Iloilo, Isabela, La Trinidad Benguet, Laguna, Pampanga, Quezon Province, which is my province, Rizal Province, and NCR. And we have a birthday celebrant, Marinette Espartinez. Happy birthday! 
Happy birthday to you. So, uh, are you ready now, Coach Chester, for the Q&A? Absolutely. From Rosario Perlas, how do you instill gratitude to staff who have high entitlement culture? And how do we crack that kind of belief system? You know, it's a great question. When you have people that really do feel entitled, uh, it's interesting. I think that the opposite of gratitude is entitlement, right? And so when it comes to those uh, kind of employees, I think that that's where you really do have just the conversation and you lay out how you're going to hold them accountable and what you, your expectations are and say, listen, you are, you know, a, a, in, an integral part of our team. You know, you're, you're smart, you're, you're productive. I need you to, you know, express more gratitude to your coworkers, you know, and I think in, in the gratitude piece, the specificity becomes very important. So that, you know, you, you don't, it's not just general praise. Hey, great job, great job, great job. It's all about very, being very specific. When people are entitled, those are the, are, are the employees that really need to step back out of themselves. You need to give them opportunities to serve other people. And in having that conversation and setting the expectations as to what you need from them, that, that I think is really an important conversation. Now, if they don't buy in, if they can't do it, then you have a really interesting decision to make. Because, you know, and, and I learned this from Alan Mulally. He said, look, this is what we need you to do. Now, if you can't do it, that's okay. You just can't work here anymore, right? We need this from you. And if you can't do it, that's okay. You just can't work here anymore. And I know sometimes that's hard to let go people that are really productive. And yet to get to the culture you want and to really get exponential growth, you've got to have the right people in your culture. So those are the hard calls. The good leaders find a way to make those calls. Is, is that helpful? It, it is very helpful, which uh, makes me want to ask you this question, Sir Chester. So yes, uh, I, I can feel your positivity and kindness and authenticity, but I'd like to ask, do you, do you also have a titanium Spine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. See, you confuse gratitude with being soft, and and it is. Mm. Uh, people say it's a soft skill. It's really interesting, though, how the best leaders, the extraordinary leaders that that I was able to meet and we were able to study, were also very demanding. And when you think mm. about the best leaders you worked for, they pushed you. Right, they they challenged you. They put you in a position to grow. They they wanted you to get better. They didn't make it easy. So here's what's really interesting. When we talk to great leaders, we said, "Tell me about your career." They always go to the hard times because that's where they learn to be great yes. leaders. So you know this encouragement along the way. You think about you know uh, uh, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant was very demanding of himself and the players that played with him, and they loved him for it, right? Yes. So it doesn't so, have to be either so or. It's, it doesn't have to be either or. It has to be a, well, it has to be both. Exactly. Uh, we have another question from Marinette Espartines, how to activate an attitude of gratitude when people around you like work colleagues obviously are not thankful for what they have and instead gossiping and bringing people down. How not to get influenced and affected by them? These are, these are actively disengaged co-employees. You know, I'm going to give you a tip, and this is from my dad. You know, whenever he was in a situation where people were gossiping or saying mean things about other people, he would say this, we'll do a little role play. Let, let's say how that you're, you're gossiping about, about uh, Irish. Okay, I would say, say, you know, just an example. I know that would never happen. Hmm. Say, you know what, how I'm so surprised to hear you say that because Irish speaks so well of you. Oh, <laughs> and that's that's a one. situation. Now, here's the thing. You can only control what you can control. So you can control your attitude. You can control the way. And if it starts to gossip and they start to say, you know what? I, 
I, I don't I don't like this kind of negativity. I, I let's change the subject. And I'll give you a perfect example. Again, my father would say you have to choose to be offended. So my father did a lot of charitable work in our in our church. And for a long time, he worked with the youth. Mm -hmm. And we had a woman in our congregation who was miserable. And she loved everyone else to be miserable with her. You know those people, right? Yes. So she comes up to him after church one day and she says, you know, Mr. Elton, you think all the young people in our congregation just love you. Well, I'm here to tell you, they don't. <laughs> and he said to her, well, thank you. And she said, it wasn't a compliment. And he said, too late. <laughs> said, I just assume that everything people say to me is a compliment. So don't choose to be offended. Choose not to be offended. And when you hear that kind of talk, say, you know what? Let's change the subject. Yes. Or Howell, I'm so surprised to hear you say that about Irish. She I love that. So well of you. I, I love that line. I love that line. You know what? It's a guilt trip for people who are gossiping. Exactly. And thank you, sir. Uh, Jenna Lynn Keringal is asking, what if you are in a situation wherein your boss do not know how to appreciate the efforts of his staff? You know, here's, here's a, a great little, uh, little tip. Recognize them. You know, recognize the boss. Little, rec okay. recognize, recognize the, the boss. The yeah. Boss and, the and you know what? You can still recognize each other. Now, it's easier when the boss sets the tone because the way the boss acts gives you permission to act the same way. I understand that. If the boss isn't good at doing it, you know what? Give them a little bit of recognition. Give them a little note. And then start doing it yourself. Just start doing it. Be, be the positivity in your team. And then when it feels you know, right, say, you know what, boss? We love it when you give us a little bit of encouragement. You know, that little note that you sent or the little note. Those things go a long way. We would love for you to do a little more of that. You know, we do it with each other. It would mean the world to us. You know, go to the boss and say, you know what, Hal? Susan has been knocking it out of the park. It would mean the world to her if you just wrote her a little note. You know, coach him up a little bit in a very soft and subtle way. You can control what you can control, so you can do it. Recognize the boss and help the boss. Say, you know what, so-and-so's been working with you. It would mean the world to them if you just stopped by and said thanks. Wow. Help them. Thank you, Sir Chester, for this online coaching. Most of our participants are HR directors, managers, and supervisors. Well, time flies so fast. It's 7.06 p.m. here in the Philippines, and I'm sure it's... But you have to go back to take a nap, right? Sir, Sir Chester? <laughs> I, I, I think that's my plan. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to ask you this. Uh, will you be okay for a part two someday soon? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we, we have written uh, 12 books now. We have a, a lot that we can share. And uh, please, I, I love your mission. I love that we had so many people participate. Great questions. I hope you'll take us up on our offers for the motivators assessments and visit our websites. Anything we can do to help. We are mission driven to create great workplaces because we believe it creates better lives and better communities. So absolutely drop, drop me a note again. I, I will get up early again <laughs> to be with you. Thank people. you so it's much, uh, Coach Chester, for being mission driven, for being purposeful. Just one last uh, question. This is what we call the takeaway, the last minute of our interview what do you want us to think about as we have dinner and before we sleep tonight i mean we learned a lot of things already but if there's one thing you'd like us to think yeah what would I, I i i want to leave you with, with this i i really do want you to think about as leaders what do you want your legacy to be how do you want to be remembered do you want to be remembered as the leader that was grateful kind and patient do you want to be known as the leader that stepped up and helped people? You know, when you look at the news, there's plenty of bad news. There is, 24-7. Right, and do you want to be remembered as the good news, as the, the person that encouraged? So again, I would say, think about what your legacy is going to be, and hopefully it will be one of gratitude, kindness, and patience. And if you can be known for that, your legacy will be one that you can be very proud of, that your organization, your employees will be proud of, 
And more than that, your family can be proud of. I hope you take that to bed. Wow. Again, thank you so much, Coach Chester Elton, and to our participants here. Put your hands together, big hand for Coach Chester. Thank you so much. You know what, Coach? Just uh, to validate your words and, and, and your impact to us, it's not only those who are with us now in the Zoom room and the LinkedIn live stream and the YouTube, this will be uploaded on our YouTube channel and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people will get to see it and this will be part of your beautiful legacy of well, thank you, you very being much. a person of gratitude, a person of kindness, a person of patience, and a person, a person of love. Again, thank you, Coach Chester. Have a beautiful day, but first, go back to bed and enjoy your <laughs> short nap and have an enjoyable breakfast. Thank you very much. Salamat po. Maraming salamat po, Coach Chester. Wow, so uplifting. I feel so uplifted. And as Sir Chester fades out of the screen, I'd like to invite back Miss Irish Malonda Samson. Wow, my heart is full. My heart is full. That was gladness. a great session, Sir Howell. Yes, I, I wanted it not to end. <laughs> yes, it was fun, insightful, engaging e-learning session with Coach Chester. And in behalf of Arriva Academy, Coach Chester, thank you for waking up so early. Thank you for thank this, you for this opportunity in sharing with us your um, insights and learnings. Wonderful. Okay, thank Sir so Howell, much. let's move on to our takeaways. Takeaway, as we yes. ask our participants if they want to write there. Yes, please share with us well. your takeaways so that a lot of um, things. I appreciate, we can share it as well to, yes, we to others. Well. I appreciate, uh, well, Coach Chester's sacrifice for waking up in the morning, very early in the morning in New Jersey. I appreciate his generosity, giving us those, uh, I mean, free uh, free books and then free, yes. and the, everything and is the free. Motivational yes. assessment motivational assessment, but more than that, I appreciate his spirit. Talking to him, seeing him face to face, it's, it's not just the beautiful energy that he has. It's, it's the kindness that I felt. I mean, we're at the opposite side of the globe, and yet I felt him. I, I felt his kindness. You know what? I would sleep with a smile in my mm -hmm. face tonight because of him. And he... It's, it's rare to meet genuinely successful and yet humble human beings on earth because it's either they are highly successful and, and don't have kindness or they're kind but they're not successful yet. But Sir Chester has both, titanium spine and a heart of gold. And thank you for that. That's I point. agree with you, Sir Howell. Well, with mine, of course, I would like to thank him uh, for the learnings, how the the culture of gratitude and encouragement resonates to engagement and um, productivity and, of course, growing into business. Um, what, um, one one uh, line that I got from him is, if you are engaged, I agree with him, actually. If you are engaged in your work, the more likely you are happier in life. And it's um, happening. And that's 100% you know, true. Yes. See, yes. we are both doing this, not for <laughs> anything else, but because we're passionate about what we're doing. And it's because we have our um, our uh, culture of appreciation here in Ariba Academy. I agree. Every time, every time, sir. So, would you like to read now? Uh, yes. Let's the take check away the of our takeaways of our participants from. Just put on my reading here. glasses. Build up legacy to be remembered as grateful, kind, and patient person with family, work, and community. Thank you so wow, much. Thank you for Dan that. Yeah, I also forgot to mention that uh, he failures are not failures. They are learning moments. That's what I love about One of the many quotes that I love about Sir Chester. Failures. Wow, that no. was great. They are and learning I moments. Of course, Sir Howell, speaking of gratitude, we would like to thank you for moderating again our sessions for this uh, for today. 
Thank you As for always. the opportunity to meet people like Coach Chester. And Such I will enriching see you. encounters. Yes, sir. I will be seeing you again on Tuesday for another e-learning session. Yes, see you on Tuesday. Happy Independence Day, Philippines! Yes, Happy Independence Day. And Sir Howell, thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Chester Elton. Thanks, Miss Iris. Thanks, Sir JM, Kuya Jeffrey, and everybody for participating. Don't you go away. Yes. And I would like to thank you as well, our participants, for joining us this evening. And we would like as well to thank our following win-win partners. Our official media partner, Art Plus Magazine, Digital Media Partners, Focus Media, Globotronics, CD Advertising Ventures, Outcom, Elevate Media. For women partners, thank you to Brother Faber Castell, Gluta C, Moringa O2. AFC, Mr. Donut, Tokyo Tokyo, Lotus Biscop, Boss Job, Sir Technology Inc., Finma Properties, Salary Jet, Ilawi Korea, Kittleson and Carpo Consulting, Enchanted Kingdom, Disperse, Cosmotech Philippines Inc., Mindchomps Virtual Preschool Program. To register, please call them at 0906-486-0710 or email them at lisakanabi at mindchomps.org. We would like to thank as well Essential Safety Products PH. So for your personal protective equipments, for your uh, health and safety uh, compliance requirements, please email them at essentialsafetyph at gmail.com. And if you want to place your ads here, advertise your company, your services, and your logo, please email us at marketing at arriva.com.ph. Stay on top of our insights and updates. Stay connected on our uh, social media sites. Please join us on our Arriva Academy Facebook group. Like the Arriva Academy Facebook fan page. Follow the Arriva Academy LinkedIn page. And visit us on our website. It's www.ariva.com.ph. And if you missed our live webinars this evening or today, um, and um, our previous e-learning sessions, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Arriva Academy and Arriva Talks. Again, it's Arriva Academy and Arriva Talks. For our upcoming online learning sessions, don't forget, we will be having our HR Virtual Summit PH. We would like to invite you again for our live webinar series for our cause. We have invited international and global subject matter experts to share with us their wisdom in the HR field. And our session this evening with Coach Chester is one of the part series of our HR Virtual Summit. We would like also to invite you on our e-learning masterclass with Mr. Jonathan Yabut, the Asia's Millennial Guru, how to manage the millennials in the workplace. This will be on Tuesday, June 16th. 4 to 6 in the afternoon, and this is only 799 per participant. Plus, you will get one free ebook worth 249 pesos. Another e learning masterclass from Mr. Jonathan Yabut Work Smart, Not Just Hard How to Boost Your Productivity at Work. This will be on Wednesday, June 17, same time, 4 to 6 p.m. The brightness amidst the crisis, maintaining the right attitudes during COVID-19 pandemic. This will be on Wednesday as well, 2 to 3 p.m., June 17. And we will be having Coach Randy Esguera to talk about this session.
another e-learning masterclass, prospecting, cold calling, telephone sales, and closing the deal. This will be discussed by Mr. Chris Randall from United States, and this will be on Thursday, June 18, 3 to 5 in the afternoon. This, we would like to invite you on the second batch of our online selling from home, how to use FBIG and LinkedIn for your business. This will be on Wednesday, June 24. Of course, this will be discussed by Mr. Jonathan Yabu. And we would like to invite you on our masterclass series by Mr. Howell Mabalot, how to communicate with diplomacy, tact, Credibility in times of chaos. This will be on June 30. Leadership skills for supervisors in turbulent times. This will be on July 16. And how to take on greater responsibility. Step up skills for non-managers. July 29. Don't forget to register, guys. And if you want to customize an e-learning session for your team, organize a webinar for your company, please do call me at 0916-695-4418 or email me at irish.arivaacademy at gmail.com. And that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us this evening. Hope to see you on our future e-learning sessions. Again, we would like to invite you how to manage the millennials in the workplace. Tuesday, June 16, don't forget, please do join us. Again, this is Irish Malonda Samson in Arriva. It's all about being better. Have a great weekend, guys. Have a great evening and happy Independence Day. Bye-bye.